Welcome to the Regina Sailing video blog. Today I will talk about my two head sails. So I have a masthead rigged boat, meaning I have a pretty big Genoa. So I don't need a code zero in front of that. Uh, that is more for the modern uh, type of boats which are not masthead rigged. So it's a nice Genoa with an electric Furlex E400, which is practically uh, furled and unfurled from the cockpit. But here I have my fixed cutter stay. So because this is so big, it's good for hard weather. It's fantastic for upwind sailing in gale winds. And I chose not to have it electric. So it's manual in case I have a power loss or something, I can still use this manually. So with a cutter stay sail, you need running backstays. And that's what I want to show you now when we go aft and where I can control these from the cockpit manually and not having to go up front to the mast. So join me back. So here are my parked running backstays and they are connected here through a low friction ring. So these also become my running backstays. That little line is nothing but the parking line. A little rope to pull it forward so it's out of the way. So when I control it from the cockpit, I release this line and pull on this red line, which then stretches the running backstays so it goes aft and holds the mast exactly opposite where the cutter stay sail is. So join me now aft and I'll show you how I control it from the cockpit. So this is my running backstay, the other end, on the stern of the boat. So, and that's the line I'm going to uh, pull on from the cockpit. So this is permanently attached to the boat on this place. So follow me now into the cockpit and I'll show you how it sits over there. Remember this is a little trim line which sits here in the cockpit. So I can release that one. That is released. And now I want to pull on the backstay, on the running backstay, so I just pull here. So the practical thing is that I can control it all from the cockpit and um, can set the running backstay from the cockpit and when that is set what I do is I use the winch and there we are. That's it. And it's very easy to release and park it in the front again and all I do when this is set I have now the starboard set so now I can sail on the starboard tack and just unfurl the um, manual cutter stay jib like normal and off I go. And every time I tack I of course have to release one of the um, uh, running backstays so always the lee one, the leeward one is um, loose and only the one in the windward side is um, set fixed. But the good thing is that on a furling mainsail like I have, so if I only unfurl or if I can on a traditional slab reef boat and I just hoist the sail up to the point where the running backstays are attached, I can actually tack port and starboard with a mainsail under the uh, running backstays. That's really, really, really practical. So I will demonstrate that by now unfurling the mainsail and show how I can tack forward and backwards with both running backstays set. Now we'll unfurl the mainsail. So I have an electric system, so that's very nice. So I just press these two buttons and out comes the sail. So this is the perfect place to stop. It's just under the attachment point for the two running backstays. So that way I can have them both fixed, the running backstays, port and starboard, and I can still tack the boom forward and uh, backwards when I sail upwind without having to change the running backstays. Of course, you can also sail with more sail, uh, more main sail, but then you always have to release the leeward running backstay, which is easily done because you just release the running backstay and you pull on a little grey uh, trim line and whoop, it goes forward and is parked where it should by the stanchions. So that's really practical. It's very good to have running backstays also under other conditions. 
uh, because e especially if you motor, if you don't have any sail at all, but in any condition, in heavy waves, and you should go up by front by the mast and look up and see how the mast, the middle part of the mast, is actually pumping, going forward and backwards and forward and backwards. So that's quite tough for the whole rig. So it's much more stable and better to have a running backstay to fix the mast in place and then a cutter stay um, that fixes the mast a little in the middle or a bit further down uh, than the masthead at least. So I can really advise you to have a running backstay and cutter stay set up. It's helpful even though you are not always using the sail as such, but it's so convenient uh, to have this possibility. When the wind picks up about poof, 25 knots of true wind, upwind, I always use the cutter stay sail uh, these days. So I hope you got some inspiration by setting up your own system of having uh, a more flexible way of sailing, especially in a little bit more wind. Thank you for listening.